just sit back here for the rest of the service? All right. Morning, everybody. My name is Doug Burford, and, and I'm not a man of the cloth. In fact, my, uh, my history and occupation probably puts me at the far end of the spectrum of holy occupations, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I, I haven't done any research, but I'm, I'm not sure if baptism by lawyer is actually legal in this state. <laughs> we're we're going to look beyond that today for, for my friend May Ward here. Uh, it was a week ago today that uh, May and her mother approached me after church in the overflow and asked me to, to be a part of her baptism. Today, I've been walking on cloud nine since then. This is such an honor, and I'm really pleased to be here. But uh, well, this is not about me, this is about May. May Ward, if you don't know May, you will someday. <laughs> May is, uh, is an amazing young lady. She, uh, she fills a room when she comes in. She, uh, she doesn't, she's not you know, boisterous or loud. Sometimes she can be, but she fills that room with her joy and her, uh, her uh, zest for life her energy. She's like a little beacon of light. Uh, she, she fills the room with energy and joy when she comes in. So uh, I'm really pleased to be here to help her you know, with this uh, celebration today. Um, you know, May, uh, May and her family moved here from uh, Chicago in 2018. And, and before she moved here to, to the Bernie area, you know, she, had, uh, she was raised in a Christian home and she had come to know Jesus Christ. And uh, she knew that someday she wanted to be baptized, but she wanted to find the right church home to do that, right? And uh, so they, uh, after, after moving here, they, they came to Civil Oak Creek, and, uh, and, and May said that she knew that this was going to be her church home, and that they've been coming here ever since. It's like about September of 2018, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've, been, uh, I've been serving in Kids Creek, and Adventureland, as it used to be known, and now an overflow for many years. Um, and, and apparently, there was something about that that day when May first came that connected her with me. I don't know what it was, but I suspect that I probably did something entirely inappropriate. <laughs> uh, but, but I think that maybe that resonated with uh, with May, and so she uh, you know, found an attraction in Cibolo Creek, and she's been here ever since. Now. You know, in her walk, you know, here at Cibolo Creek, May uh, attended a few, a couple of uh, events that really kind of cemented uh, or strengthened her relationship with Jesus Christ, and that was uh, the uh, winter retreat in uh, 2018, I believe it was, right? Crazy chaotic time with the HEB camps, uh, but lots of fun, lots of growth there. So that stuck out in her mind, and also uh, there was a, a kid's uh, student life camp in 20. 19, I think, right? So yeah, those two events really struck a chord with May, and she decided that she was ready to be baptized, and uh, so that's why we're here today. So um, I guess that's about it. Got anything you want to add? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah, one last thing. Uh, one of uh, May's uh, favorite scriptures is Romans. See, I'm not a man of the cloth. I got to read it. Uh, Romans 8, 38, which basically talks about how nothing, no height no, nor depth, life nor death, nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Amen. I said, can I get an amen? Amen. There you go. All right. Well, without further ado, uh, May, uh, have you decided to place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay. Now, is, is, is it your decision to uh, proclaim that faith here in front of all these people and be baptized in the name of Jesus? Yes. All right. Well, it is my distinct privilege and honor to, uh, to baptize you in the name of our Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 